Uh, well, I thank the Honourable Lady for those questions. This is a short direct award that we are negotiating to allow this competition to reach its end. This is not the end of franchising. Franchising has been a significant ingredient in improving and turning around the rail performance in this country. It has led us to having more services, more passengers, at a greater level of safety than at any point in our country's history. Franchising has been part of that success. This is uh, not an issue of failure. It is an issue of making sure we get this correct. Have I discussed the franchise bid with the trades unions? No, because the bids are assessed by uh, officers of the Department for Transport, And the officers of the Department for Transport anonymise those bids, they assess them. This is important market-sensitive information. Market-sensitive information runs through a standard procedure which the Honourable Lady should be aware of. It operates in councils, it operates in this government, it operates in devolved assemblies too. I have, however, of course, met with trade unions and was able to confirm with them that my aspirations for the rail industry include uh, the careers of those who serve it. It was a point raised by the uh, Honourable Lady, who is uh, Chair of the Transport Select Committee, where we had an urgent question about this just before Easter. I do not want to see any pension cut. I want to see those who work on our rail services uh, retire with secure and stable uh, pensions. But these are, of course, pensions from a private business, uh, not necessarily something that comes from government. In terms of the Williams Review, well, the Williams Review, uh, that work is underway. I'm sure the Honourable Lady will have seen some of the evidence papers uh, and heard the emerging thinking that uh, Mr Williams has given at some speeches that he has made over the course of the past few weeks. We look forward to seeing the output of that review. The whole point here is that franchising has been an ingredient in our rail turnaround, which has been so fantastic for this country. The question now is how we take that to the next stage, and that's what the Williams Review is all about.